Hey everybody, so I wanted to do a quick unboxing video today. I got a uh, nice gift for my wife and son um, for an early birthday present that was supposed to be for a camping trip that I was going to take, but the weather was so inclement the weekend that I had that planned that it didn't work out. So um, I thought I wanted to get this thing opened up and uh, uh, get it ready because we're going to be taking a trip to uh, the Sedona, Arizona area in uh, a couple weeks and I'm planning on taking my rig with me and uh, seeing if I can get any opportunities to shoot uh, while we're in the Sedona area. And hopefully I can find a dark sky spot in, around there. I haven't uh, been out that way in uh, quite a few years. So, but anyway, what they got me was uh, Jackery Explorer 300. It's a 200, 93 watt hour, 300 watt uh, portable power pack. And anyway, I thought we would get into it and have a look at, uh, um, it's gonna be my first look too. I actually haven't pulled it out of the box yet. So anyway, we'll get into it. My name is Doug and this is Astro AF. All right, so before I get into taking a look at the Jackery Explorer 300, I wanted to take a quick minute and discuss how I arrived at the 300 watt version of this being the most appropriate for me. And I was weighing this out about what my power needs actually are and then the cost of the, uh, of the portable power packs because as you increase in power, they increase in cost quite a bit. So uh, the first thing I wanted to do was have a good understanding of how much power I actually need overnight. And so I wanted to take into consideration my scope and mount, uh, of course. And then uh, I've also need to have, you know, my cell phone and my notebook computer. So my notebook computer and cell phone, I have other power packs for those. The notebook computer actually it'll, it'll run for 12 hours with a full charge i can definitely be out all night and then some to uh to run my imaging session and then with my phone i have a, a little power brick that'll charge my phone like four times so i didn't really need a power pack for my notebook or my phone those could be charged during the day you know from a vehicle uh, or if I uh, get some solar panels for the Jackery, you know, I could be uh, charging those throughout the day as needed too, if I, if I wanted. But uh, so anyway, it wasn't a consideration. So the Jackery was simply going to run my uh, mount and telescope rig. And so in order to determine that, I picked up this uh, HBN plug-in power meter, energy meter. And uh, what this does is you plug this in and then connect whatever you wanna measure to it and it just has a plug and so I, I just have one single AC power cord that I run out to my rig and then uh, I have a um, 10 amp converter that uh, um, that I run up to a to a power hub on top of my telescope and that feeds out power to all my peripherals on the telescope itself so I plug this in and let it run overnight to get an idea and a good average of the uh, hourly, uh, of the watt hours that I'm using. And this is calculated at about 30. So I'm gonna get somewhere around, you know, in a session will be around eight hours or so. And the, uh, the Jackery will provide that power for about nine hours. So I have, a little bit of overhead on that. And so I decided that, that uh, the Jackery 300 was the most appropriate. Um, this is really neat. It's not expensive. And, um, you know, it just calculated the, uh, the amount of power that I was um, consuming on my rig and, uh, and gave me an output on that. And uh, I was able to determine what my, my power needs were for that overnight. I have a link to this down in the description. Now for the Jackery, and I haven't looked at this before, you know, we can go ahead and get in and open this up. So this is a 300 watt, uh, 293 watt hour portable power pack. 
and um, it has a couple AC outlets and it's got um, a USB and what is that one? Oh, that's also a USB. That's like a USB-C, I think. We'll see here in just a second. And then it's got the power input and then a little LED display. And it has a, uh, a cigarette lighter adapter here as well. So we'll take a look at it. Comes nicely packaged. Uh, the different charging adapters and cables come in a nice pack. It's small, it's very compact. So let's look in the case first. So within the case, instruction sheet as you'd expect. And then it's got the power adapter with cable. And it also has a cigarette lighter adapter cable for charging. And then the power box itself is that we were just looking on the front. So it's, it's really pretty, it's not big. <laughs> um, it looks nice. It has vents. It's got a fan on this side and then a passive vent on this side. It has some nice large feet on the bottom. And as I mentioned, it's got the, uh, the, the charging input and then the USB-C, that's an in out. So I think you can uh, charge through this and this at the same time if I, uh, I'd have to read the manual to be sure, but I believe that's the case. And then the, uh, the USB type A charging ports. And then the two 120 volt uh, regular plugs cigarette lighter adapter, and then again, this, this display. So that's pretty much it. I'm going to have to get this charged up. I don't think that it has any power. Let's see if it does. Oh, it does. It's charged up to 45% right now from the factory. And we'll remove this plastic. And we'll see if I can get this close enough where you can see the display on that, if it's not too glary. This is the Explorer 300, and I'm looking forward to using it. And I will report back after I get a chance to uh, try it out and let you all know how everything went. I'll have a link to uh, this down in the description as well. So thank you very much. Disclaimer on that, those links for both of these items will be affiliate links. And uh, if you would like to support this channel and would like to buy one of these things, then uh, if you use that link, you can do so without any additional cost to you. And I'll get a small bit of a percentage uh, in compensation uh, for your purchase. So thank you very much. I'm Doug, and this is Astro AF.